Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, wh why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, Grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because it's still dark outside and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash. Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Like, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week. And Molly and I just happen to be in the spirit. What are you? Like some sort of like cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. B Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Blow so dangerous. What are you talking about? Looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever. This test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a note, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever. It's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah! Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow. Really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. 
Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be... Brookie, come back! Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No. I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> she's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Marty. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Marty? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Whee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah, Sarah, oh my God, somebody called 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah. Are you okay? Say something. It definitely hit her head. Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah, just hold on. Hold on. Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion. And also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. 
Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh! I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah. So, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa! Sarah, you got lucky! You know when I said you should look both ways, and you said you don't follow the rules, and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you, that's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Ah, summer vacation. It doesn't get better than this. No school, no homework, no teachers, no Sarah. <laughs> yep, summer vacation sure is amazing. Hmm. Not to mention all the snacks. Mm, Doritos, Reese's, Donuts, uh, and all of my favorite shows. Uh, this box is so heavy. Uh, Dizzy, what are you doing moving out? I don't think I'd be so sad about that. Whatever, Molly. You miss me. You really would. Uh-huh, sure. Mm. Okay, let's see. I could pack some waffles. Yeah, they'll last a long time. And I could also pack... Oh, I've got a cake. I could put that in here. Daisy, wh what exactly are you doing? Oh, yeah, I could make burgers and I could take some soda and yeah, that would be good. Daisy, why are you taking all the food out of the refrigerator? I need that, you know. Molly, you could always go to the store in a few days and buy more. I don't have that luxury. Daisy, what are you talking about? Why do you have a box labeled food? Are you trying to steal all that food and put it in your room so I can't have any snacks? You know how I feel when you eat the last egg of waffle. Molly, I'm sorry, but everything's fine, but I can't talk right now. I'm very busy. Daisy! What? Daisy, what are you doing? Molly, everything's normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. I've just got to look up how to purify water. What? You can do it through a sock? Ew, gross. Well, maybe it's a clean sack. Daisy! Okay, something really weird is going on with my sister. I mean, maybe she's just prepping for summer camp or something, but I don't know. I, I don't think her summer camp is till August. Something really, really weird is going on here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow her. That's what I'll do. I'll follow her, and I'll sneak up, and I'll eavesdrop on her. See what she's doing. You have to be really quiet. Wait, she not in there? Where is she? Oh, wait, there she is. She's in the spare bedroom. What does she have? Go away. Molly, stop following me. Go away. Seriously, you made that sign as I was coming up the elevator? Yeah, Molly, I knew you were going to follow me. And I'm busy. Stay out. Okay, fine. Rude. I know she's up to something, and I'm going to catch her. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go swimming in the pool. Okay, where's my bathing suit? I've got to put on a really cute bathing suit because Luke might be coming over later, and we might be going swimming. But I'm going to go swimming until he gets here. What about this one? Oh, that's pretty cute. This is super cute. Uh, um, no, but this not, I don't want to wear that one. Let me see. Oh my gosh, look at this monster outfit. <laughs> That's adorable. Where are all the bathing suits? I can't find them anywhere. Okay, this is super cute. I'm wearing this in the pool. It's adorable. Okay, my parents just put in a pool last summer, and it is amazing. I love it so much. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Summer vacations are pretty much amazing. Hmm, this donut's really good. 
Even if it is a little soggy from being in the pool. Molly, what are you doing eating a donut in the pool? What are you doing with it? An axe? Daisy, why do you have an axe? Well, I asked first, why do you have a donut in the pool? Because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I don't care if the donut gets wet in the pool. I still want to eat it. You're going to get frosting in the pool. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I don't even know how you're my sister. Daisy, wait. Come back here. What? Where are you going with that axe? Daisy. Daisy. Where'd she go? She is acting so Weird. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go find out exactly what she's doing. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? In your room? Daisy? Daisy? W w what's going on in your bedroom? Oh my gosh, Molly, this is my secret lab. How'd you get in here? Oh no, I must have left the door open. Hey guys, do you want to go to the park with me today? What? Nutty buddy, how are you in here? Oh my god, everybody's gonna know about my secret lab in, in Brookhaven. This is horrible. Uh, I think Nutty Buddy left. He's not really interested in a secret lab. He just probably wants wanted to go get ice cream with Nutty Buddies on it, of course, because those are his favorite. That's why his nickname is Nutty Buddy. Whatever, Molly, get out of my room. Get out of my lab. I'm busy. Daisy, seriously, what is going on in here? I mean, I knew you wanted to be a scientist and everything, but look at this place. Molly, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I created a spaceship. What? You did? Yeah, Molly, and well, um... <sighs> I'm going to Mars. What? No, you're not. Don't say that. We have school in two months. You have to be here for it. You'll be back in time for that, right? <laughs> this is just like Mars summer camp? No, Molly. Once you go to Mars, there's no returning. What? What are you talking about? It's a one-way trip, Molly. I leave tomorrow morning. But... But, Daisy, we're, we're sisters. You can't just leave forever. Molly, this is what scientists do. I'm sorry, but this has been a lifelong dream for me, and, and I have to fulfill it. Daisy! But, 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 but I'll never see you again. We have today, Molly. We have today. And then I'm off to uh, learn about aliens and 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 Mars and... And all sorts of really cool things. It'll be a totally different life than here. I know, but here is a good life. Brookhaven, us, our family. Molly, I'm sorry, but this is what I want to do. Can't you be happy for me? Okay, I, I guess I'll try. We still have today, Molly. It's my last day on planet Earth. Let's make it the best one. Now, come on, what should we do first? Um, well, we should probably start with ice cream. <laughs> Since you won't be able to eat any on Mars, that is. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Last one to the ice cream shops, a rotten egg. <laughs> She's always the rotten egg. Whatever, Molly. You're the stinky one. Hello there. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm real good. Although it looks like Brookhaven's going to get a giant storm. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to flood again. Well, there are some pretty dark clouds out there. It's probably going to flood. Oh, man. I don't want my ice cream shop to get flooded again. <sighs> what can I get for you? Um, hmm. Oh, my favorite. Mint chip, please. Okay, one mint chip coming right up. Hmm, that's delicious. And what about for you? Birthday cake, please. Ooh, delicious. Well, enjoy it, Daisy. It's your last ice cream ever. Why, are you dairy intolerant? <laughs> I have some dairy-free sherbet if you like it. Ew, sherbet could never compare to ice cream. Well, it's all we have for the lactose intolerant. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dairy is pretty wonderful. No, I'm not lactose intolerant. You see, it's my last... Well, you wouldn't understand. I just can't have ice cream anymore, okay? Um, okay, well, enjoy. Oh, excuse me, are you gonna pay for that? Oh, yeah, pay. I forgot about that. Here you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ice cream. Come on, Daisy, let's go sit over here. Our favorite booth. Daisy... Are you sure you want to go to Mars? I mean, I think everyone here in Brookhaven is going to miss you. Yeah, right, Molly. You're my sister, and I annoy you always. I don't think um, you're going to miss me at all. Correction, Daisy. I might miss you a little bit. Wow, Molly, really? Yeah, but just a little. Mm. Best ice cream ever. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Mine's already gone. Well, do you want a second one? I mean, it is your last day at the ice cream shop forever. Nah, I don't need a stomach ache when I'm on the spaceship tomorrow morning. Last one to the slide is a rotten egg. Molly, enough with the rotten eggs already. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Molly, now you smell like a rotten egg. Ew. Sorry. Ha ha, I get to go first. Whee! No fair. Whoa. <laughs> 
Okay, that was so fun. We should do it again, Daisy. One more time, Molly. Then I want to play hide and seek. I don't know if they like playing hide and seek on Mars. Good point, Daisy. They may not. Whoa. And you won't have a sister anymore to play hide and seek with. Maybe the aliens will play hide and seek with you. <gasps> Maybe you could teach them how to play hide and seek. Good idea, Molly. That could be the first game I teach them. Okay, Daisy, who wants to be it? Not me, Molly. Okay, fine. But how about we have a rule? You could only hide somewhere in downtown. Because you only have so many hours left and well, you know, I I, I, I want to be able to find you before you leave on your spaceship. Good point, Molly. Okay, go count. And no peeking. Okay. One, two, three. Should I peek? I really want to cheat. <laughs> Four, five, six. I better not cheat, though, because it's the last time she's playing hide and seek, so. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Daisy, where are you? Okay, I can't find her anywhere. I wonder if she went into one of the stores or something. Daisy, are you in the fountain? You'll never find me. You'll never find me. Holy guacamole. She's... Wait wait a minute. Does that plant have feet? Daisy! I found you! Oh, man. I should have hit battle. I thought maybe you wouldn't find me, but my feet have grown like 10 inches in the last year, so they stick out of everything. <laughs> You do have big feet, Daisy. No no offense or anything. Molly! Hopefully the aliens have big enough shoes for your big feet. Because you can't come back to Earth to get new shoes. <gasps> Good point, Molly. I need to pack an extra pair of shoes. Wow. I'm getting hungry. Again, Molly? We just ate that ice cream like two hours ago. Don't you want to have a diner feast before you go to Mars? Ooh, that does sound good. Daisy, what if all they have at Mars is like slime and ooze and green goo? Well, I guess I'll have to learn to like slime and ooze and green goo. Ugh, gross. Well... If it's good enough the for the Martians, it's good enough for me. Hey, honeys. How are you doing today? Well, it's it's an okay day. Oh, you sound really sad and down. What, what's wrong? It's my sister's last day on planet Earth. What? Seriously? Oh, my God. You're going to die? I'll be sure to come and leave flowers for you at the Brookhaven Cemetery. No, no, no. She's not going to die. She's just a famous scientist, and she's taking her, her rocket ship all the way to Mars. Molly... It wasn't supposed to tell anybody. She's just a waitress. She, she won't tell anybody, right? Molly, she's going to tell every customer that she's ever known. Well, there's no other customers in the diner right now, so we're safe. You'll be gone by the time another customer comes in. Wait a minute. You're going to be gone really soon. Daisy, are you sure you want to do this? I'm sorry I'm trying to interrupt here, but if you want to eat before she leaves, I really do need your order. Okay, I have a burger and a soda, please. Me too. Sounds delicious. Want to have a full tummy for my ride? Okay, so. Sounds good. Coming right up. Daisy, I, I, I hate to admit this, but you're my sister. I love you. Don't go. Molly, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Science needs me. It's it's my fate in life. But what about being my sister? What about that fate? Molly, I'll always be your sister, whether I'm in Brookhaven or on Mars. Daisy, I don't want you to go. Don't go, Daisy. Please. Daisy, don't do this to me. <laughs> Daisy, please don't go. <laughs> please don't do this to me. <laughs> Molly, everything's going to be okay. You're a tough girl. You're going to be all right without me. But will you be all right with me? I'm um, sorry to interrupt, but here's your order. Enjoy. Okay, here's your tip. Just leave me alone, okay? Okay, no need to be grumpy. Sorry, it's just my last minute with my sister on the planet. <sighs> well, Molly, you should eat this pogo. It's really good. Daisy, aren't you sad? Um, Molly, I'm a little sad, but I'm mostly just excited. I'm going to Mars. I'm going to Mars. Gonna meet some aliens. That's the last Coke you'll ever drink. Ooh, yeah. That is super sad. Really? You're gonna cry about the Coca-Cola? But you're not gonna cry about me, your sister? Uh, well, uh, 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 Daisy! Well, Molly, it's about time for me to go. I hate to say goodbye, but goodbye! Daisy! What? Wait, uh, Daisy! I, I did Daisy! Wait a minute! Okay, fine, Molly. What, what is it? I'm not good with goodbyes. Daisy, I know we haven't always got along, but I really love you as my sister. Molly! I really love you as my sister, too. I've been trying to stay completely positive about this trip, but the truth is, I'm gonna miss everybody in Brookhaven. Yeah, but you have to go to Mars. Like you said, it's your fate. But you don't have to. You can stay here. No, Molly, I have to go. Now turn around. That way you don't have to watch me leave. Okay. 
Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye forever. Daisy? Wait. Daisy? Daisy! <laughs> well, here goes nothing. All my work as a scientist is finally led up to this. I even made a special helmet that would allow me to wear my pigtails. They're my signature style. Hee! <laughs> Whoa! A little bit of turbulence here as I leave Earth's atmosphere! This is crazy and amazing! Ah, little does my sister know that I packed all the Doritos in the house. Well, I guess she could go to the store, and I don't think there's a Dorito store on Mars, so, you know, I needed them. It's been one whole day since since Daisy left. And I just I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I guess I could go to the diner and get some lunch. That's what she would want me to do. Okay, maybe not, but that's exactly what I want to do. Excuse me, can I get some service over here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just came on for my lunch shift. What's wrong, cutie? Um, can you not sit on the counter? Well, I'm trying to sit on the chair, but it won't let me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you have to pull the stool out before you sit down. Uh, you really are having a rough day. I'm having a horrible day. <laughs> What's wrong, cutie? Oh, wait a minute. Now I remember. Your sister left for Mars, didn't she? Mm, this donut's delicious. Hey, are you giving me some lunch or what? Sorry, I had to work so late last night and then someone called off, so I had to work a second shift and I'm just really tired. I need like so much coffee. Here you go. How about this for lunch? Well, I don't even think I'm hungry. I just miss my sister. We would eat here together all the time. Well, cutie, your life has to go on even if your sister's not here. I guess you're right, but I want to live without her. It's going to be okay, Molly. Just try going through your day like you normally would. Okay, well... I'm not really hungry. Well, that's a first. You really must be depressed. Totally. Oh, yeah, I could go down the big slide. My sister and I love doing that together. And I could still do it on my own. Here goes nothing. Ugh, that didn't seem very fun. Oh, wait, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna run over here. Perfect. Last one to the slides, a rotten egg. <laughs> I'm gonna beat everybody. I beat you. Wait. There's no one to even beat to the slide. There's no one to, to tease about being a rotten egg. It's just, it's just me, alone, without Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, are you, are you up there? I know you're somewhere amongst the stars. I miss you, Daisy, but I know you're living out your dream as a scientist. I hope the Martians are nice to you and I'll miss you forever. I'll miss you always. You'll always, always be my sister. So you see, if you want to play hide and seek, you have to go hide somewhere, and then I try to find you. If I find you, then I win. I Sorry, I don't speak alien too well yet. Do you speak a uh, human yet? Oh boy. I really miss playing hide and seek with Molly. <sighs> okay, let's go over this again. First you hide, then I find you. <laughs> Dr. Smith reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm going to have a wonderful day. Ooh, it looks like Laura and Karen checked in to have their babies. Wow, it's going to be such a busy day for me. Hello? Karen, is that you? Ugh, there's not even a good view in this hospital room. It's so annoying. Um, Karen, why don't you come out of the corner so I can examine you and make sure that your baby is doing fabulous. Of course she's doing fabulous. She's my baby. Okay, well, I'll be right back when you have a little less attitude. Hi, Laura, how are you doing? Oh, hi, Dr. Smith. Oh, my stomach's really hurting. I think my baby is going to be coming any minute. You're probably right, Laura. Let me just take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you're right. Your baby is going to appear any minute. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Does that mean, oh, my stomach will feel better soon? Absolutely, Laura. Now, I've got to go check on Karen and see how she is. Karen, come on. I need to check your baby. Uh, seriously, I need to wheel myself out of the corner? What am I paying you for? Um, you're not directly paying me? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a long story with insurance and stuff, but come on, let's get into the bed and let me see how your baby's doing, okay? Fine, whatever. Ooh, cute pajamas, Karen. 
Of course they are. I'm wearing them. Duh. Well, it looks like your baby should appear any minute. All right, don't get out of bed until your baby comes. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, but I can't wait to meet my little baby. Oh, I was wondering who was making all this noise over here. Oh, hey, Karen. Uh, yeah, uh, my baby's coming. So is it mine, but I'm not whining about how much my stomach hurts. Um, okay, Karen. Um, everyone deals with pain differently. Ugh, my baby is going to be so adorable. Like a million times cuter than yours. What? Don't bully my baby before it's even being born. That's just rude, Karen. I don't care if it's rude. It's the truth. Your baby's going to be ugly and mine's going to be cute. Karen, get out of my room right now before I call hospital security. You can't bully my baby like that. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen! Your baby is so adorable! Of course she is. She's mine. Would you expect her to be anything else but the most adorable baby in the world? Um, well, all babies are pretty cute. No, mine's the cutest. Say it, Dr. Smith! Um, okay. Uh, what are you gonna name your baby? I'm naming her Sarah, the best name in the whole world. Okay, well... Uh, you take good care of Sarah. I'm going to go check on your next door neighbor because she's having a baby too. Uh-huh, sure, whatever. Hi, baby Sarah. We're going to rule the world. Oh, boy. I can tell it's going to be a very long day. Oh, wow. You had your baby, Laura. Yeah, she's so cute, isn't she? I love her so much. Oh, she is cute. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, you named her Molly. What a sweet name. Okay, Laura, I want you to get lots of rest. Don't worry, I will. Except for when my baby needs me. Oh, you're still here. Um, yeah, I just had a baby. Of course I'm still here, Karen. Duh. Uh, I came over because I figured you wanted to see the cutest baby in the entire world. Um, okay. Um, my baby's cute too. Uh, no. Your baby's ugly. Mine is cute. Karen! I told you to get out of my room if you're gonna bully my baby! Ugh! You're so, you're so frustrating! Whatever. I mean, you're just jealous because my baby's adorable! Oh, it's my first day at preschool. I love preschool. I love it already, even though I've never been here before. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a little, it's a little hippopotamus. I want to play with it. Give me that toy right now. I want to play with that. There's another one right there. You can play with that one. I don't want to play with that one. I want to play with the one you have. Now give me it. Get that back to me! That's mine! I wanna play with that! <laughs> you're such a whiny little baby. No one even likes you because you still poop your pants. <laughs> okay, Molly, you just you just have to be brave. Be brave! I can ask him to the dance. Sure, I can ask him. I can ask him. He's usually practicing in the in the gym. Yeah, because he's on the basketball team, so he has to have lots of practice. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's okay. I can ask him. Oh, H hi, Jesse. Oh, hey, Molly. What's up? Just practicing, cause you know I've got a game on Saturday. Yeah. Um. You know what's on Friday night, though, right? Yeah, the big school dance. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so, uh, I was wondering if maybe, uh... Oh, there's Jesse. What's he talking to that loser for? Hey, Jesse. So, excuse me, Sarah. I was about to ask Jesse something. Okay, girls, girls. Seriously, there's enough of me to talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, that sort of hit me. Sorry, <laughs> never know what's gonna happen on the court. <laughs> so if you're out here, you gotta be careful. 
Okay, so anyway, uh, are you done talking, loser? Because I have something I have to say. Sarah, rude! What is it, Sarah? Uh, Jesse, since I'm really popular and a cheerleader, I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me on Friday? What? But, 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 but... Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Sarah. Sounds like fun. I didn't really have a date in mind, so, um, yeah, we can go together. Anyway, guys, I gotta get going because I have to drink, um this awesome drink before I go to class. It's got like spinach in it, and protein and stuff. It makes me big and strong for the game. See you girls later. And Sarah, pick you up at eight. Sounds good, Jesse. See you then. Sarah, you interrupted. I was gonna ask him to the dance. <laughs> You're funny. Like Jesse would ever go with a metal mouth to the dance. Metal mouth? Who are you calling metal mouth? You brace face. <laughs> oh. Well, it's another beautiful day in Brookhaven. Uh, guess it's time to get to work. Hey, who's that? Holy oh guacamole, look at that sports car. That must have cost $300,000. Looks like they're coming in here. Well, I better get on my apron and get behind the counter. Hey there, what's up? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just recording this YouTuber. What? A famous YouTuber is coming into Brooks Diner? I hope my hair looks okay. Oh, it's good to be back in my old town. Well, really, not really. Wait a minute, is that Sarah? Oh my gosh, she's a YouTube star now? Yeah, what, have you been living under a rock? Do you not even watch YouTube? Um, I don't get much chance to watch anything. I have to work a lot of hours in order to pay my rent and stuff. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. Jesse, are you getting this on film? Jesse? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. What? Uh, I just thought you wanted to be a famous basketball star. He did, but then he broke his ankle, so now he works for me. Leave him alone, okay? Um, Sarah, um, what are you doing back in Brookhaven? Well, right now, I'm waiting for you to get me some breakfast, duh. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. What? I I'm not a loser. I have a job. I'm a grown-up. I'm adulting. Not very well by the looks of it. Ugh, you gonna work here forever? Okay, um, it's okay. I'm just feeling a little sad that you're making fun of me and bullying me, even as adults. Ugh, obviously, we're not gonna get any breakfast here. All right, Jesse. let's just get out of here. Uh, have I messed up my entire life? Sarah makes me wonder. I, r I really don't know. Well, I may be old, but I still volunteer at the hospital every Wednesday and Saturday. I feel like the patients just need a friend. Oh, my back is killing me today. All right, let's see what patients are here. Oh, good morning, Molly. Oh, my, it looks like you have a very achy back. Here, you want a shot for that? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Here you go. Oh, ow, that hurt. Yes, but in a minute, your back won't hurt anymore, Molly. Oh, wow, you're really right. Thanks, Doc. No problem, Molly. Let's see what patients I can be friends with today. Oh my! Sarah, you mean the famous YouTuber who's been bullying my entire life? That's right. <laughs> she is kind of a bully, isn't she, Molly? Yes, but has anyone been in to visit her, Doc? No, she has no friends. No one wants to visit her. Oh, I see in the bed next to her someone just had a baby. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, she has a lot of friends and family, though, that have been visiting her. So, I think Sarah is probably the one you need to see. Of course she is. Oh, no. Hello? I'm coming to visit you. Who's there? Ugh, I can't even see you too good. Oh, um, it's your old uh, acquaintance, Molly. What? Molly? <laughs> oh, you're still ugly and a loser 80 years later. Excuse me, I had a little bit of a seizure there. I'm about to die. 
Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Perhaps I can sit with you and be your friend. No, I don't need a loser to be my friend. Look, Sarah, you've been bullying me my entire life, but I want you to know something before you die. Okay, what is it? Spit it out, Granny. I forgive you. I don't care if you forgive me. I don't care! Oh, Sarah, please learn this lesson before you die. You have been a real... Real what? Um, well, bully. And it's not good. You should say you're sorry. You don't want to die with this on your conscience. Ugh, whatever. I don't owe anyone an apology. Okay, Sarah. Well, I just want you to know I forgive you. I'm... 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 What, Sarah? What were you going to say? I'm so... <sighs> oh my god, are you kidding me? She died before she was able to say she was sorry? Ugh, this is horrible! <laughs> well, looks like she bit the dust. I'll call the funeral home. Oh, well, at least she tried to say she was sorry for bullying me all those years. At least she tried. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke High. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. Uh, but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay. Um, You know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This app was delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. 
But mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Ugh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly. I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom. Fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly. I agree. Now, remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to a hundred... What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! I'm yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we don't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's money. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no. You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy. Where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that? I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? 
You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Ah, oh, that makes me so mad, Molly. But you don't even know if it's a winner. Go to your room, Molly. Go right now. Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner, Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, I... Molly, stop talking gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a is that a winning lottery ticket? For a hundred million dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom, mom, mom. Molly, I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Oh! oh my gosh, is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody, we won a we met we met we won a hundred million dollars! All of our troubles are over! Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well... I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion! Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now! I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well... Amazing! It's off the hook! And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother! Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car! I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh -huh, sure, says the girl who put mom's car in the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapers? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have the newest iPhones. What are we going to do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew, why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, Wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, five 
hundred thousand dollars here. What? F f five five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. Oh, oh my God! Did he die? Ah, the homeless man died. No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got a hundred five hundred thousand dollars, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Huh. I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash by here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You... You were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly, nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well... I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mail? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but it's the thought that counts. 
We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm late for school again. I'm late for school again. This is so bad. <laughs> so bad. And that's why you're a total loser, Daisy. If that a loser, stop saying that, Sarah. You're so rude. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Are you bullying my sister again? Um, no. I'm just telling her how it is. She's such a loser. Don't say that about my sister or else. Or else what? Ugh, whatever. You're both such losers. Sarah, get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Go. Go. That's okay. You kind of smell anyway. Wait, what? I do? Do I smell, Daisy? Um, well, maybe a little. You did run to school. <laughs> oh, man. I think I have some deodorant in my locker. Molly, Sarah is so rude. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I wish she could stop being a bully for just one day. Well, maybe, maybe she would if she just had some real friends. Yeah, right. Doubt it. Well, we better get to class. Hey, Sarah. Um, you look really pretty today. Don't even talk to me, Tommy. Oh, you're such a nerd. Hey, don't be mean to Tommy. He's super cool. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I was wondering if maybe you, uh... Oh, my gosh. I think Tommy's going to ask Sarah to the dance. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's rude. What do you want? Like, seriously, you're starting to annoy me. Um, I was wondering, uh, I think you're really pretty and, um, well, uh, kind of nice. And I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like it's going to go so good. <laughs> Are you laughing because you're so excited about going to the dance with me? No, I'm laughing that you'd ever think I'd go to the dance with you. <laughs> you're such a nerd and I'm popular. Like, I'm a cheerleader. Pff, you're not even supposed to be talking to me. Goodbye. Whoa, um, that was not nice, Sarah. Oh my god, I'm humiliated. Tommy, what's going on? Oh boy, I better get into class and see see what the drama is now. What's going on, Molly? Well, Tommy decided to ask Sarah to the dance. What? Seriously? Uh, she's kind of out of his league. Well, must be he didn't get the memo on that one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 11. Oh, school's already making my brain hurt. When's lunch? <laughs> oh, I'm so humiliated. Well, Tommy, the good news is it's lunchtime. I don't want lunch. I don't want anything. Oh, I need to go to a different school. Don't worry, Tommy. Sarah's mean to everybody. She's probably going to go to the dance alone because who would want to go with such a bully like her? Probably the star football player will go with her. She's so beautiful and the cheerleader and... Well, she might be beautiful, uh, but not on the inside because, man, she is ugly on the inside. She's rude and mean and a bully. Now, come on, Tommy. Let's go have lunch. I'm starving. Yeah, maybe later, Molly. Give me that cheeseburger. It looks delicious. Not a chance, Sarah. It's mine. I'm starving, and I want that cheeseburger now. Sarah, no. Sarah, could you just stop being a bully for five seconds of your life? I'm not a bully. I just tell it how it is. Uh, yeah, and we also call that a bully. B-U-L-L-I-E. Buddy, that's not how you spell bully. Ugh, you're such a loser. You don't even know how to spell bully. Yeah, it's B-U-L-L-I-E, right? Ay, yeah, yeah. you need to pay attention in class more often. How do you spell it? B-U-L-L-Y. Oh, yeah, and if it's plural, it's B-U-L-L-I-E-S. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, I'm so sick of Sarah's bullying. Tell me about it, Molly. Well, I don't know what there is to do about it, but I think some pizza will help me. Mmm, delicious. Maybe we're just not seeing things from Sarah's perspective. Sarah's perspective? Pfft. Who cares about that? I'm just saying, Molly. Mm, this Coke is good. 
Maybe she has a reason that she is the way she is. And we don't know because we're not in her shoes. Of course we're not in her shoes. She has much bigger feet than I do. And they probably stink like rotten cheese. Ma Molly, no. It's a figure of speech. Um, being in someone else's shoes means you live their life. You don't live their life, so you don't know what it's like to live their life. Huh, what? Can't hear you over the chewing of my pizza. Molly! Okay, fine, what? Just saying, unless we live our life, we don't know why. Whoa, that gave me a great idea! Oh no, she has an idea, this can't be good. Spellbook, spellbook, spellbook. No, not the spellbook! Molly, not the spellbook! Okay, let's see. I have Newt. Ew, I have Newt. Gross. What are you doing, Molly? I'm switching lives with Sarah for the day. What? Why? Well, because you said I had to see what it's like to be in her shoes. And she's going to see what it's like to be in mine. Here's the spell. Okay, I just got to go find Sarah. Molly, I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to be there for practice. Yeah, no, we can get pizza after practice. Uh-huh. What do you want, loser? What are you doing? Spellbook? What, what's this about? Ugh, you're so annoying. Alakazi! Alakadu! I'm gonna trade my life with you! What? What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Whoa, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> I'm starving. I need to go have some lunch, and I'm probably gonna share it with everyone I know. Why is she so friendly? She's so annoying. What a loser. Ugh. Let me go see if I can bully somebody for their lunch. Wait, why am I going this way? Gosh, school is so annoying and so big. You never figure out where I'm going half the time. Oh, hey, Malia. <laughs> I got a pizza to share. Uh, I don't plan on sharing it with you. You can just give it to me. Wait, what? Why? Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I'm so embarrassed around you, Sarah. Why? Why are you embarrassed? Uh, because he's a loser and you're not? Bully? That, that wasn't very nice. What's wrong with you? I don't know. She's been a bully all day. Uh, wait, what? Are you talking to me, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> you're super nice. Oh, does that mean you changed your mind about going to the dance with me? Yeah, I'll go to the dance with you. Huh, what do you know? A loser gets to go with the cheerleader. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. Whoa, Molly, you look grumpy. <gasps> Did the spell work? What spell? Get away from me. You're such a loser. Molly, I'm your sister. What do you mean I'm a loser? Where's your lunch money? Give it to me. Molly, oh my God, you over bully. <gasps> that means Sam was super nice. I gotta go see this. Hey, get back here. I'm Give me your lunch. Give me your lunch money, one or the other. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey, Daisy, you want some of this pizza that I bought? It's delicious. And also, I've decided to go to the dance with Tommy. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Molly, your spell is amazing. What is she talking about spell? There's no spell. Ugh, you guys leave me the pizza and all your money and get out of here. Oh, Molly, I don't know when you turned into a bully, but it kind of stinks. I don't like it. I don't like any of you. <laughs> Did you just fart? Yeah, and that's what I think of you when you eat all the pizza and don't give me any. Um, we said we'd give you some, Molly. I don't want any of your stinky pizza. It's not us that's stinky, Molly. Take a look in the mirror. I don't like anybody at this school. I don't like any, any of the subjects. I don't like any of it. just want to go home and, like, hang out. Maybe play a video game or something. Ooh, what's this? Doritos? Not even Doritos can make me happy. Okay, they can make me like a little happy. Mm. Molly, um, try to think back to what you did before you became, well, this Molly. Uh, okay. I guess I can. Not really sure why you're interrupting me while I'm eating my Doritos. Um, you were reading a spell book, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Did I cast a spell? Yeah, and I was wondering how long it's going to last really don't like you right now. I don't really like you either. Rude. Wait, the spell I cast, I can't remember what it was, but it said it lasts 15 minutes. Oh, good. We have 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Should be any minute now. I have to go bully some people. Get away from me, loser. 
Oh no, here comes Molly again. I'm so confused. First you were a bully and now you're nice and now she's a bully and I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Wow, this was huge to go. What are you talking about? Why are you losers sitting next to me? Get away from me, Tommy. You smell like a taco. Oh, <laughs> I had tacos for lunch. Uh, would you like some? You know, I, I could make tacos even before the school dance. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, are you going to go to the school dance? No, not. Well, yeah, I'm going to go, but like not around any of you guys. Wait, but you said you were going to go to the school dance with me. Wait, I. Oh, my God. Why did I say that? No, I'm not going with a nerd. Um, too late. I already bought your corsage and my tuxedo, so you have to go with me. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh! So Molly, what did you learn about walking a mile in Sarah the Bully's shoes? I learned that her shoes are stinky and they hurt my feet. Really, Molly, that's it? No, I just learned that she's grumpy and I have no idea why. She's just a bully. Well, I'm sure she has a good reason, and, um, I want her to be your friend. Well, Tommy, good luck to you. Good luck! Oh, who's a cute little girl? Oh, you're so adorable, Daisy. Oh, Molly, you're so adorable, too. I can hardly believe we had twins, Laura. I know, it's going to be crazy. Two little kids running around at the same time. Twice the diapers. Oh, Dan, don't freak out. They're just diapers. But diapers, so many diapers. <laughs> I think this is going to be a great adventure. Diapers, just one word, diapers. I want marshmallow! I want marshmallow! Molly, shh! I'm trying to read my book. Wow, Daisy, I can't believe you're only three and you've already learned how to read. Ah, oh, you're so smart. Ah, uh ah! -uh, they tell you something, Molly! I tell you something! Okay, what is it, Molly? Shh! I'm trying to read. I increase my knowledge. Ah, uh, my sister is so annoying. I got poo poo in my diaper! I got poo poo in my diaper! Uh, ew! I was potty trained over a year ago. Where in the diaper? Okay, Molly, okay. But first, I tell you this amazing fact about lakes since we're on our annual family trip. Did you know there were 117 million lakes on Earth? Covering 3.7% of the continental land surface. I poo poo! <laughs> I poo poo! Oh my gosh, my sister is so annoying! Okay, um, come on, Molly, we'll change your diaper. I poo poo! I poo poo! Oh, yeah, yeah. How's anybody supposed to be so smart with this one running around as their sister? Oh, that smells a lot better, Molly. <laughs> Eventually, you'll be potty trained. Ooh, monkey. I like my stuff, monkey. I am trying to read still. Oh, Laura, I think Daisy's definitely going to be a rocket scientist. I do too, Dan. Ugh, I don't know where she got her smarts from, but probably me. Hey, I'm sure she got them from me. Uh, no, Dan, definitely from me. Uh-oh, I poo-poo, I poo-poo. Oh, no, not again. Your turn. <laughs> I changed the last one. Okay, Molly, come on. Okay, class, no talking, please. If this is a test, I repeat, this is an actual test. Whoa, Mr. Smith takes math very seriously. Uh, I wish I took it a little bit more seriously, considering, um... Basically, I didn't study. Uh-oh! It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. I, I, I can do this, right? Oh, my gosh. This test is so hard! Molly, please be quiet. Sorry, Mr. Smith. Yeah, I'm, I'm in math class right now. It's, like, so boring. Shh! I'm trying to stop my test, Sarah. 
Sarah, off your phone, please. Unless, of course, you'd like to stay after school for detention. Ugh, I have to go. I have to take this lame math test. Sarah, hang up. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can do this test. I've been preparing for this my whole life. Ugh, whatever. I totally didn't study for this. I'll just copy off of Daisy. What? No, you're not copying off of me. Listen, nerd. I don't have time to sit around and study all day like you do because you have no life and you're not popular and you're well kind of a loser. I'm not a loser just because I study and I'm smart. Actually, I think that makes you a total loser. Oh, you're so boring. Now let me copy off of you. No, you're not copying off of me. Whatever, four eyes. Those glasses look so ugly on you. I, 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 I like my glasses. They remind me of, of a Harry Potter. Harry Potter is so ridiculous. Ugh, you're an even bigger loser than I thought. Excuse me, Mr. Smith. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't feel very good. Okay, Daisy, go ahead. Uh, I hope you feel better. You can take your test later. Thank you. Sarah's bullying my sister. Uh, Mr. Smith, I I'll be right back. I need to check on my sister. Okay, Molly, but be quick about it. I will. Oh, my gosh. She probably went into the bathroom. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, oh, don't cry, Daisy. I, I just tried to be myself, and <laughs> myself isn't good enough. Daisy, don't ever say that. You being you is just fine, even if you are my annoying sister sometimes. Not helping, Molly, not helping. Daisy, you're so smart. She's just jealous because she didn't study and she's going to get a bad grade and get detention. And then, oh no, she can't go to cheerleading practice. And you wouldn't let her cheat off of you, so she's just being rude to you because of it. You think so, Molly? She said my glasses are super ugly. Yeah, well, pff, whatever. Her personality is super ugly. She's just mean. Don't listen to her, Daisy. Okay, Molly, I, I guess you're right, but maybe I should just... Not try to be smart anymore. What? <laughs> you're right. You could try that all you want, but we both know you're going to be a rocket scientist someday. Yeah, I guess you're right. Daisy, you're amazing. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Wow, Molly, you have a really good sister. Well, I try, Daisy. I try. Now, come on. Let's go get an ice cream. Yeah, but first we got to take that math test. Nah, we could just take the ice cream and forget about the math test. Molly... You know we have to take the math test. <sighs> okay. Fine. <laughs> but I'm going to take a treat to go. Ooh, Doritos. Sounds delicious. Mm. Molly, come on. Okay, Miss Pushy Pushy. Welcome back, Molly and Daisy. Uh, Molly, there's no eating in class. Sorry. Let me just eat these really fast then. Molly, take your test. But they're Doritos! Oh, <sighs> Molly, what are we gonna do with you? Doritos away, please. Okay. Taking my test. Cheapers, creepers. <laughs> As if math is more important than Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, please go tell your sister Daisy that it's time for dinner. Okay, but, um,. I, I, I'll go in a minute, Mom. I'm doing some very important homework. Molly, go tell her. But, Mom, important homework. <laughs> Molly, I know you're watching dog videos. Okay, fine. I'll go tell her. Daisy! 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 Dinner! Do not enter. Pfft, whatever, Daisy. What? What? What is going on in Daisy's room? D Daisy? Whoa, everything's shaking. Molly, oh my gosh, you weren't supposed to be here. D Daisy, what is going on in your room? You didn't see anything, Molly. Just just, just go out of here. Daisy, I forgot to put up the lock on my door. Oh, man. I remember the do not enter sign, but I forgot the lock. Daisy, what is going on? Oh, nothing. The core is just melting down. What core? The core of the earth? Uh, no, <laughs> of my science lab. Daisy, what science lab? 
Okay, let me just go fix this. I'll be right back. Don't tell anybody about this. Um. Oh, 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 okay. What, what, what is this place? This is my science lab, Molly. Science lab? But, but, but it looks like your bedroom. Yes, Molly, it does on the outside to fool everyone into thinking that it's just a bedroom. But it's actually my science lab. Would you like to see what I'm working on? Uh, yeah. Here's your visitor's pass. You're only allowed one owl, and then you'll explode. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't program that in yet. But here comes one of my helpers. Wait, you have science helpers? Yeah, they're called lab assistants. I got them from the local college. They're looking some for some work experience. Holy guacamole, Daisy! This is insane! Don't tell anyone! Top secret! Wow, Daisy, <laughs> you really are a nerd. Uh, yeah, duh. Daisy, what are these? Oh, those are wish machines that I'm working on. Wish machines? What do you mean? I mean, you can program into the computer what you want, and it grants your wish. Right now, I'm working on, uh, on making a rocket ship to go to alien planets and talk with aliens. Ooh, this looks interesting. The code is very hard to make a rocket ship that go to Mars and to visit alien planets, but I think I'm going to crack the code soon. Molly, are you even listening? Sorry, I used the wish machine to code myself a taco. Oh my gosh, Molly, seriously? Oh, doesn't it look delicious? This machine is amazing. Molly, I'm using it to code a rocket ship, and you used to code a taco? Are you serious? Hey, I can't help it. I'm hungry for dinner. That's what I came up here to tell you, by the way. Dinner's ready. Oh, brother. Okay, well, I guess I'm back to my little tiny life. Pretending that I'm normal. Well, we all know you're not normal, Daisy, but that's okay. Don't tell anybody about this. I won't, Daisy. But can I eat this taco? I guess. He'll sign this paperwork saying that you will not tell anybody. Seriously? Yeah. It's a non-disclosure agreement. Daisy, I'm your sister! I don't care, Molly. You still have to sign it. Well, I guess I better log in for another day at work. Ugh, working at the grocery store is not my ideal job, but I guess it'll do for now. Huh. I really want to do something so cool, like be a rock star, or, or, I don't know, just something other than bagging groceries forever. Oh, there's my sister. Hey, Daisy, I haven't seen you in a while, now that we're grown-ups and live in our own houses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just getting a bunch of supplies right now. Wow, you're wearing a funny suit. Yeah, um, yeah, I just made this suit, actually. <laughs> it's fire-resistant and stuff. Whoa, you're getting a lot of candy bars and treats. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm going on a trip. Oh, wow, a vacation. I wish I could take one of those, but I'm too busy working at the grocery store. Yeah, trip. I'm going on a real long one. Well, you better stock up. Where are you going, Hawaii? Um, yeah, that's it. Hawaii, sure. Uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, we've got some Bloxy Aid on sale. You could stock up on that. Sounds good. Wow, you got enough groceries for like a year. Well, I just need it, okay? Huh, this is going to be a long trip. Uh, Molly, it was so nice knowing you. What? It sounds like you're moving to Hawaii forever. If that's the case, you better give me an invitation to come visit you. I'm your sister, you know. Um, yeah, maybe someday you could come visit me, but I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Oh, well, uh, I, I hope you have a nice trip and... And visit me sometimes. Well, Molly, um, I'm gonna miss you. Let's just put it that way. Okay, well, uh, here, I'll start bagging your groceries. H here you go. Daisy, you were always so smart. Oh, Molly, you were always so sweet and nice. Even when people teased me at school. Yeah, how's your rocket ship going? Oh, let's just say it's pretty much finished. Wow, amazing. Well, have a nice trip in Hawaii. Have a nice life, Molly. Be happy. Aw, thanks, Daisy. Well, here goes nothing. This rocket ship I've been building since I was a teenager. Oh, I hope it works really good. Oh, we're getting some turbulence. Apparently going to Mars is harder than I thought. I 
Everything's gonna be okay, though. Everything's gonna be okay. I prepared my whole life for this! Whoa! Look at this place! Mars is everything I thought it would be and more! Holy guacamole! It's... It's amazing! Whoa, it's so different than our planet. OMG! Greetings, Earthling. We have been waiting for you. For me? Seriously? Yes, Earthling. You are the smartest human being on planet Earth. We've been waiting for you. Well, uh, no offense, but you're talking a little bit crazy right now. This is just how you hear us, because if you didn't hear the modulator, you would hear this. Whoa, that's a weird area language. Yep, I'll go back to the modulator, please. We are so happy that you're finally here. Um, 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 alien? I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Uh, are you wearing a Buzz Lightyear shirt? Buzz Lightyear is a hero. Um, <laughs> that's just a movie. What's a movie? We love Buzz Lightyear. He is going to rescue us all. Um, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Did you bring Buzz with you? Uh, nope, it's just me. <laughs> Okay, well, you're welcome to stay. Goodbye. Wait a minute, you didn't tell me how to survive on this planet! You are the smartest human. You figure it out. Here I am, still on the alien planet. From what I can guess, a hundred years later. <sighs> I've started to civilize the alien planet and teach them everything I know. But it seems that on this planet, I can't age. I'm forever 20 years old, which I guess is kind of great. But <sighs> I miss my sister a little. I hope she's not dead on planet Earth by now. Your sister is definitely dead. She's probably 100 years old or older. Oh, wow. Yeah, she definitely is. Well, I guess I'm stuck with the aliens then. We're pretty nice, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you guys are cool and all. <laughs> I can't believe it. My life as a nerd is complete. Well, not really. Now that you're on our planet, you'll live another thousand years. Holy guacamole. What do you guys do for so long? Get smarter. Watch a lot of Buzz Lightyear. Oh, boy. Daisy! 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 Molly, why are you being so loud right now? Can't you see I'm busy? Daisy, we have to go in the pool. Why do we have to go in the pool, Molly? Because it's so nice outside, and it's just, it's a perfect day to go in the pool. Daisy, put that book down. It's right in front of my face. How rude. Molly, I'm busy studying. I have to get a good grade on the math test tomorrow because I have to be a part of the math elites. The math elites are the best math students in the entire world town and i'm going to be the head of them but daisy it's so nice out i don't care molly i have to do my homework now go away fine you don't know what you're missing it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna be in the pool molly shh stop singing about it jeepers ah this is the life ah daisy doesn't know what she's missing by studying all the time boring well, who am I going to play Marco Polo with? I guess I'll play with my invisible friend. Marco! Okay, invisible friend. Are you out of the pool? Fish out of water! Oh, I wish I could go out to the pool. It is a really nice day outside. I'm stuck in here studying again. Okay, Daisy, don't think like that. You are the best nerd on the planet. You're going to get on to mathletes, and you're going to take over the world. Yeah, at least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Maybe just another hour of studying and I'll be prepared for this test. Oh, sometimes it feels like all I do is homework and study. Study and homework. Daisy, are you still studying for that math test? It's already been like 24 hours. You're going to get a good grade. 
Marty, there's no way of knowing that. There's no way of knowing. Daisy, you're the biggest nerd I know. There's a way of knowing. Oh, look who it is. Losers. Nerd number one and nerd number two. Uh, correction? I get detention and I don't get hundreds on my tests. I am definitely not a nerd. Yeah, she's not a nerd. Well, you are, right? Um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I get good grades and stuff. Well, that sounds lame. I mean, yesterday at cheerleading practice, we had such a good time. Really? You you did? Yeah, it was so much fun. And then the entire team afterwards went for pizza. Whoa, pizza? That's amazing. If I could be a cheerleader, I totally would just for the pizza. Of course you would, Marley. Wow, cheerleading sounds so cool. It totally is, but you'd never make it because you're a loser nerd. What? But but I could be on the cheerleading squad, I think. No, not even a chance. You're a loser. <laughs> loser nerd. Loser nerd. What? Why is she saying that? <laughs> Daisy! What? Oh my gosh, we're going to be late for English class. Ah, Daisy... I can't believe I actually beat my sister to class for once. Looks like I beat everybody. <laughs> well, at least I won't get detention today. I'm so tired of being a nerd. Everybody's always mean to me about it. I work so hard on my schoolwork and, 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 and all I get is picked on. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could go from being a nerd to a cheerleader. <laughs> Did somebody say, I wish? What? Who, who are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. I have no idea. You disappeared out of thin air. Well, Daisy, I'm your fairy godmother. Wait, wait, wait. I have a fairy godmother? That's right. <laughs> well, where were you when I was taking that English test last week and I got a B? I wished for it then, too. Well, you didn't say out loud, I wish. Oh, is that all I have to do? I also wish for a million bucks. Um, one wish at a time, Daisy. One wish at a time. Now, you're thinking you want to be a cheerleader instead of a nerd, is that right? Yes, I really want it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, are you sure you want to wish? Sometimes what we think we want isn't actually what we want. We have to be careful what we wish for. Wishes can go very crazy. I know what I want, okay? I'm a headstrong person. I know what I want. Okay, well then, all you have to do is say the magic words. What are they? Uh, hint, they start with, I wish. Okay, um, I wish... I could be a popular cheerleader. Your wish is my command. Whoa, I'm a cheerleader. Not just any cheerleader, the cheerleading captain. Whoa, Sarah used to be the cheerleading captain. She's not going to be happy about this. Well, this is what fairy godmothers do. <laughs> Have fun being the cheerleading captain. Bye. Go figure. The one time I'm early for class, the teacher is late. Oh, the teacher said he got stuck in the rain. His car wouldn't start. Oh, well, looks like English class is canceled. Woohoo! Hey, everybody. Whoa, Daisy, are you the cheerleading captain? No, I'm the cheerleading captain. Well, where's your cheerleading outfit then, Sarah? What do you mean, where is it? I'm wearing it. Uh, no, you're not. What? What, what? what happened to my cheerleading captain outfit? Why is she wearing it? Um, because she's the cheerleading captain. What? No! How did this happen? She's a total nerd! Not anymore! Looks like she's the most popular girl in school. She's the cheerleading captain. No! Well, I'll take... Um, I'll take time to sign autographs after class, okay, everyone? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to get one. And, um, maybe you'd like to go to prom with me? Luke! What? She's just so pretty and she's popular and she's the cheerleading captain. I can't help it. 
Of course I'll go to the prom with you. Daisy, Luke's supposed to go with me. Actually, Molly, he's going with me. He already asked. What? Ugh! This is the worst day ever. How did you become the cheerleading captain anyway? A little bit of magic and a lot of luck. Well, that's the end of English class. Time for the math test. I'm going to ace this. I studied so hard. Well, I'm probably going to fail because I sat by the pool. Good morning, everyone. Uh, are you all ready for the math test? Daisy, I'm sure you are. Totally, Mr. Smith. Um, I think I'm ready, but uh, I can't really concentrate because all I can think about is how beautiful Daisy is. OMG! Stop talking about how beautiful my sister is. Literally, I'm going to throw up. Okay, class, it's time for your test. No talking, no cheating, no looking on anybody else's papers, no breathing! We can't breathe? Whoa, harsh. <sighs> Molly, what are you doing? I'm taking a deep breath. I'm going to need it if I can't breathe for the next 30 minutes. I was just kidding about the breathing part. <laughs> but no talking! Okay, Mr. Smith, you take this very seriously. Oh my gosh, I don't know the answer to problem number one. Okay, just move on to problem number two, and you can come back to problem number one. I don't know the answer to problem number two, either! I, I don't know the answer to any of these, but I did yesterday. Oh my gosh, when I was turned from a nerd into a cheerleader, I got super dumb! Oh no! Okay, class, time's up. Daisy, I bet you got a hundred. Um, Mr. Smith, I don't feel so good. Let me see your test, Daisy, and I'll grade it right now. I can't wait to call you the captain of the mathletes. Wait, are you the new captain of the cheerleading squad? Uh, yeah, I'm super popular and stuff. Uh, Daisy, um, all of these answers are incorrect. You got an F. What? I, I don't know what happened. I studied so hard, Mr. Smith, I promise. This is crazy. I'm very sorry, Daisy, but... You cannot be on the mathletes this year. What? No! Wait a minute. Why do I care? I'm so popular. I'm the cheerleader who cares about nerdy mathletes. See you later. I don't even need math class. Daisy, wait. I'm going to have to give you detention. Daisy! Uh, Molly, why are you sitting in your desk backwards? Um, uh, no reason. She's staring at me again. Make her stop. Luke, I, I thought we were... We were, you know, best friends. We we're going to go to prom together. I only have eyes for Daisy now. Oh, this is the craziest day ever. Oh! Well, the good news is, Molly, you got a B plus on your test. Well, I actually did good for a change. Oh. Hey, Daisy. Something really weird is going on here. What do you mean, Molly? I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to the cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Daisy, what, since when have you been a cheerleader? If you're such a great cheerleader, show me a cheer. Okay, fine, I'll show you a cheer. I am the cheerleading captain, which makes me the best at this ever. Well, let's see it then. Whoa! Daisy, that's impressive! I know, right? It should make me really happy, but it's, it's not. Being a cheerleader isn't making you happy? Even though you're super popular and the best one in the world? That's right, Molly, it's... It's just making me feel hollow inside. I... I miss being a nerd. What? Really? Yeah, but I've gone and messed everything up now. I... I made a wish to my fairy godmother and... And she turned me from a nerd to a cheerleader. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a fairy godmother? And you wish to become a cheerleader? That's right. Yep and yep. Why would you wish for that? You could have wished for a million bucks or, or no more school or, or or to be on vacation permanently. And you wish to be a cheerleader? That's the lamest wish I've ever heard of. Well, I'm sorry. She's my fairy godmother and I get to choose the wishes, Molly. Oh, my gosh. What a lame wish. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Can we stop talking about my wish for a minute? I have to find the fairy godmother so I can turn this back. Well, do you think she'll give me a wish? No, Molly, she's not your fairy godmother. Of course she won't. Well, then why did you wish for, for what you wished for? Stop yelling, Molly. Ay, 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 everybody in the school's gonna know about it. Oh, my goodness. Ah, 
Okay, Daisy, I'll help you find your fairy godmother. You will, Marley? That's so nice of you. Yeah, if you wish next for a million bucks and then give it to me. Marley! Okay, fine. I'll help you find her. I don't know where she could be. The last time I saw her was in the girls' bathroom. Oh, that's a weird place for a fairy godmother to hang out. She was there because I was in there, Molly, crying and sad. Daisy, who cares what Sarah or anyone else thinks? You, you just be you, seriously. Being you is the best thing you could be. Aww. You're a nerd, but who cares? You're amazing, you're smart, and you're beautiful, and you're nice. Well, for the most part, sometimes you're rude to me. That's because you're annoying sometimes. Not the point, Daisy. All right, you're right, Molly. It does feel hollow inside to be somebody that I'm not. I should be myself, right? Absolutely. Now, come on. I have an idea of where the fairy godmother might be. Well, Molly. <laughs> well, if I was a fairy godmother, I'd want to eat ice cream all day. Oh, man, it's raining. Let's see if I can find my umbrella. Oh, my God, did I forget it at home? Okay, no, there it is. Better. Hopefully the whole town doesn't flood. I don't know why Molly ran here. She could have rode in the car with me. She's right. My fairy godmother is here eating ice cream. Fairy godmother, fairy godmother. Oh, hello there, Daisy. I see you're being popular and a cheerleader. Yeah, except for I don't really like my wish. What? No gives these backsies. You have to keep your wish. But fairy godmother, I don't like it. I feel hollow inside. Empty. Not myself. I told you that wishes could go awry. And I truly meant it. Mm, this birthday cake ice cream is delicious. Fairy godmother, listen to me. Whoa, no need to get angry, Daisy. I don't want your wish anymore. I wish that I could go back to being my true, authentic self. Well, I guess I could make an exception this time. But do you promise next time to remember that what we wish for is sometimes not a good thing? What do you mean? I mean, some wishes are wonderful, but when we wish to be something that we're not, not so good. I get what you mean. You're saying, when I wish for something like to help a hurt puppy, or to be a better person, or to dream big, those are all great things. Correct! But when I wish to be something I'm not, then all it does is make me feel sad and hollow on the inside. Absolutely, Daisy. You should be exactly who you are, okay? I learned my lesson, fairy godmother. You're a very good teacher, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, you can make it up to me by getting me a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> we'll see, fairy godmother. I'm not sure I have enough money. Okay, well, go ahead and make your wish. I wish that I could be back to myself as soon as possible, please. Well, let's just make sure I'm really back to myself. I'm going to try to do a cheerleading move. Here I go. Oh, ouch, I hurt myself. Ow. Well, the good news is, is you're back to yourself. The bad news is, is I need to go to the school nurse. Ow. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Daisy, how'd you get here so quick? Because, Molly, I took the car. I didn't run the whole way, duh. Where's the fairy godmother? Was she not here? Is she not eating ice cream? Was I wrong? No, she was eating ice cream, Molly. Do you notice anything different about me? Um. Whoa! You're back to your nerdy self! That's right, Molly. She took my wish back. Did you ask for the million dollar wish? No, Molly, I didn't. Daisy, why not? We could be rich. We'd never have to go to school again. We could be on vacation forever. Molly, you should never wish for something that you don't want. I do want a million dollars, Daisy. What were you thinking? Um, uh, your time's up on this limo. Uh, you guys owe me a million dollars. What? What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a thousand dollars. Uh, pay up, please. Daisy, wouldn't that million dollars come in handy right now? Uh, yeah, you do have a point. Daisy! Oh, oh, so tired. So tired. Who knew babies were so much work? What are you talking about, Dan? You don't look nearly as tired as me. Are you kidding me? I can barely sit up. Ugh. What, what's that smell? Oh, yours pooed! 
What? No, I don't want this one. You, you take this one. No, you said you wanted to hold Molly. Well, I changed my mind. I want to hold Daisy. You're not getting out of this, Dan. You're definitely having to change the diaper. Oh, man. Hi, Daisy. My sweet little girl. Oh, can you say mama? Say mama. Say mama. Come on, you can do it. What? No. Oh, no. You went poo poo in your diaper, too? Oh, no. Oh, the baby finally fell asleep. Now I can take a nap. Not quite, Dan. There's another diaper for you to change. What? No, that one's yours. You, you claim Daisy. I have to fall asleep now. So tired. So tired. Okay, fans, watch this. Bling, 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 bling. Oh, bad. This is YouTube gold, Molly. I know, right? We're going to be famous. Bling, 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 bling. Girls, what are you doing? Girls. Haha, <laughs> we're making a video. Molly, that's dangerous. Get off that couch and stop jumping on it. You're only allowed to sit on the couch, not stand or jump on it. You know better. Don't make me give you a timeout. But, Dad. You know the rules. Laura, you should see the girls. Why, what are they doing now? Oh, I just need to wash these dishes. It'll take me 10 minutes. Can I not have to deal with a dirty diaper for 10 minutes? Don't worry. There's no dirty diapers. But Molly was jumping on the couch. What? Jumping on the couch? Did she fall off? Did she bonk her head? Did she have a concussion? Is she okay? Whoa, I think you might need a day off, Laura. Why don't you go to the spa? Uh, is Molly okay? Yeah, she's fine. I just wanted to tell you that Daisy had the camera out and she was filming the whole thing. They were making a YouTube video. Oh my gosh, kids these days, I tell ya. I know, <laughs> we didn't have YouTube when we were kids. Ah, uh, yeah. Quit talking about that, though. It makes me feel really old. We didn't even have Google when we were kids. <laughs> the kids think that we were born with the dinosaurs. Well, we kind of were. Whatever. Speak for yourself, Dan. I'm not old. You can be old if you want to. Anyway, I think the girls are going to be YouTube stars. Really? You think so? I really do. Nah, I don't think so, Dan. Hey, YouTube fans, it's me, Daisy. Tonight, I'm going to take you along as I do my night routine. And the first thing I'm going to do is brush my teeth. Um, when I brush my teeth, I always um, sing an entire song so that I know they're brushed really good because I want my teeth to be nice and white and pretty. And then I'm going to brush my pigtails and put on some cute pajamas. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm making a night routine video for YouTube. Daisy, no one wants... Ah, I fell in the sink! Ah! Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh my... I'm in the cabinet. Mommy, what are you doing? Are you okay? Oh, this is YouTube gold. This is YouTube gold. Help me out of here, Daisy! Ah! Mom! Molly, shh. You're gonna get in trouble if Mom knows you're in there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there we go. What I was trying to say was, no one wants to see you brushing your teeth. Yes, they do, Molly. Our fans want to see real life. Well... I don't know about them, but brushing your teeth, ew, gross. No, they want to see it all, Molly. Every second of my life. Um, you're not going to put what just happened to me on YouTube, are you? Of course I am, Molly. That's going to get us a lot of likes. Okay, class, as you know, it's almost summer break. Are you guys as excited about that as I am? Absolutely! I can't wait to bust out of this school and go to the beach and have picnics, play video games all the all the time. I can't wait to read all of my summer books. Of course not, Daisy. You're such a goody two-shoes. Girls, girls, no fighting, please. I don't want to give you detention right before summer break. No, no, no. We don't want detention. No, we don't want that. Anyway... Uh, our last thing for the school year, our last assignment is a school project. Ugh, a school project? I don't want to do that. Is it elective? Of course it's not, silly. And great word, elective. That's a big word for an elementary student. Thank you. I like to read, you know. I would have never noticed, Molly, since you don't like school. Anyway, this project is mandatory if you want to pass this grade. Um, Molly and Daisy, I'd like you two to team up. Sarah and Luke, you two will team up. And let's see, I'll write everybody else's name on the board, okay? Um, whose team you're going to be on. I don't want to be with Molly. She's annoying. Well, I don't want to be with you either. You're my sister, which 
definitely makes you annoying. Sorry, I will not change my mind about this. Besides, you girls live in the same house. So it'll be easy to finish the project quickly. So the school project can be anything you're passionate about, okay? As long as it's high quality and I can tell you've put work into it. All right, class is dismissed. Come on, Daisy, hurry up. I have the perfect idea for our school project. Why are we in the cafeteria, Molly? It's time to go home for the day. Because, Daisy, we're going to make a video of us eating as much school food as we can. What? What are you talking about, Molly? This would be an awesome YouTube video. Molly and Daisy eat as much school lunch as they possibly can without throwing up. That's a horrible idea, Molly. No, it's not. And look, there's all this leftover pizza, Doritos, bananas, soda, apples. It's going to be fun. No, Molly. No, no, and no. That's not going to get us a good grade. Ah, what a long day. I turn out the lights and lock the door, and that way uh, everything's safe and no one can break into the school. Daisy, what, what was that sound? It sounded like, it sounded like Mrs. Smith locking the doors. What? Oh, my God, Daisy! The door is locking! Hurry! OMG! She locked us in here! And, uh, we have another problem. Uh, it's flooding inside the school. Molly, get to higher ground! Come on! OMG, this is terrible! I'm filming the whole thing, of course, though. Daisy, this could be YouTube gold! 24 hours stuck in a flooded school. Oh my gosh, Molly! Your ideas are insane! But this one, Daisy, this one's going to get us an A. And it's going to get us a million views on YouTube, of course. Oh, Boo, though, I don't know about this, Molly. Well, what other choice do we have? We're stuck in the flooded school till tomorrow morning. True, Molly, very true. And action! Hey, YouTube, it's me, Molly. Molly, that's a terrible intro. Try, hey, guys, and what's up? Or oh, hey, friends, or oh, hi, lovelies. Oh, that doesn't seem realistic to me. All right, I'll try this one. Yo, guys, what's up? It's Molly! Oh, my God, I can't even believe you're my sister right now. Um, guys, I'm just doing my night routine in the school bathroom. You might be wondering why, and that's because our teacher locked us in here for 24 hours. It's flooding, and um, I've got to brush my teeth. <laughs> Where are we going to sleep, Molly? Um, now that would make a terrible bed. The toilet, Molly? Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we could sleep on top of these chairs. Lighting room. I don't think I've ever been in here. Oh, this goes into the theater. We could sleep in the theater. These chairs are pretty comfortable, actually. When I get done brushing my teeth. Molly, you're not supposed to brush your teeth in the school auditorium. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's Luke? He was supposed to meet me here for our first date. And I don't see him anywhere. Did he stand me up? Or does it have to do with the fact that the entire town is flooding? <laughs> it could be that. Maybe we should have changed it to the movie theater or something. Oh, wait. The water's going away. Hopefully, this means that Luke will show up for our very first date. I'm kind of nervous, though. Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. Hey, Luke. <laughs> I'm glad you could show up. I was kind of wondering if you were going to make it. Of course I would, Molly. Why wouldn't I come for our date? I mean, it's our very first one, so it's kind of special and important. Whoa, this is YouTube gold. Um, uh, I don't know. I just thought maybe you didn't want to go on a date with me. Huh, don't be silly. We've been best friends since, like, elementary school, and I, um, really like you. Wait, what? You, you do? Uh-huh, I, um, I kind of have a question for you. I was going to wait till the end of the date, but I'm going to ask you now. What? Well, well, what is it? Oh, my gosh. He's gonna, he's gonna ask her to marry him. Oh, wait, no, they're not old enough for that. Um, maybe to prom? Um, I was wondering, um, uh, uh. Oh, just spit it out already! I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've known you forever, Molly. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm just a little nervous. You don't have to be nervous about anything, Luke. I really like you, too. You do? Yeah! Okay, well... Do you want to go to prom with me? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not that into you. Wait, what? She's going to say no? Just kidding! <laughs> of course I'll go to prom with you. Oh, Molly, you're such a jokester. Come on, let's go over to the ice cream shop and uh, get some ice cream to celebrate. Sounds like a good idea. Uh-oh! <gasps> Daisy, 
Daisy! Are you filming my first date? Uh, nope, nope. Just, just filming boots in the park. Bye! Daisy! Well, Molly, I guess everybody's gonna know we're going to prom together now. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know about this. This whole YouTube thing, like, it was so fun in the beginning, but now I don't have any life. Actually, correction, you have a lot of a life, but it's just for everybody to see. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, looks like no one's here. I think that means we can have free ice cream. No, nah, we still have to pay for it, but we'll just leave it in the jar over there. Mm, birthday cake, this is delicious. Uh, Molly, that's actually bubble gum. Oh, <laughs> well, my last birthday cake tasted like bubble gum, so, you know, I kind of got him confused. So, what color is your dress going to be at the prom? I don't know, you just asked me. I'm supposed to know what my color of my dress is? Ay, ay, ay. Do you think I know how many kids I'm going to have someday, too? It was just a question, Molly. Jeez. Sorry, I'm just a little annoyed that my sister filmed our first date. Ooh, now they're having ice cream. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they'll kiss. What was that sound? Oh, it's probably my stomach. I'm kind of lactose intolerant. Luke! Oh my gosh, don't eat ice cream! That'll be so bad! Oh, uh, yeah, it kind of will be. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe it! Not on my first date! Oh! Luke, it's okay! Everybody toots! <laughs> Everyone on YouTube's gonna think that's hilarious. Daisy! Why are you filming my date? Uh, sorry, but it's YouTube God! Uh. Oh my god, Molly, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay, Luke. Ugh, I just feel like I swallowed a bowling ball. I can't wait to meet our new baby. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I mean, we've only been married for five years. That's a long time, Luke. Trust me, we're going to be great parents. Molly, we've had a baby girl. Oh my god, she's so cute. What should we name her? Um, I think we should name her Lily because she's like the most beautiful flower in the whole world. Oh, I love that name. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. I'm your dad. And I'm your mom. OMG! This is YouTube Go! Daisy, are you seriously filming my first moments with my baby? Our fans will want to see this, Molly. We've, we've become really famous. We owe it to our fans. Um, okay. I know our fans are going to want to see the baby. So, I, I'm not going to be mad at you for filming my baby. Um... But I hope that everybody knows that we love them and we think you're amazing fans. And that's why we share so much of our lives with you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Lily is adorable, Molly. I'm so glad we have this memory with her on video so we could watch it over and 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 over. And over. Well, you get my point. I'm the happiest dad in the whole world right now. How is it that we're lucky enough to get the cutest baby in the whole world? I don't know, Luke, but we sure are lucky. Molly, say something to me. My sister, don't leave me all alone in this world. Also, this is YouTube Gold. Ah, I'm about to say my final words to you, Daisy. What are they, Molly? I'm filming it for fans. Why are you still filming me? I'm dying and you're filming it. Is that the, really the last thing you want to say to our YouTube fans? No, it's the last thing I'm saying to you, Daisy! Why are you filming me? Because, Molly, our fans want to see you um, say goodbye. Okay. Dear beloved fans, you've watched me grow up from a small baby, and you've been loyal to me the entire time. I hope you know how much I love you, and I'll always be with you to watch over you. <laughs> Molly, I'm not sure that's a good thing. You kind of look like the Crypt Keeper. Oh, a zombie. Not sure which one. That's not very nice. Take it back. That's all I can say about that, because I can't get up and chase you around anymore. My legs don't work. Oh, my. This is so sad. YouTube fans, grab a tissue. Molly's about to take her last breath. Not so fast, sister. I'm still here. I want the YouTube fans to know that I'll always cherish your moments where you liked my videos and told me that maybe I should have a different haircut. Really? You liked that, Molly? Not really! It was rude! Love me just as I am. Even now, as I look like a zombie. Huh. Well, you'll always have my videos, guys. You'll always have my videos. 
Molly? Molly! Okay, this was the last video ever with my sister Molly. And I feel I don't have much time left either, since we're both very old. But we've loved making YouTube's videos for you guys. And we hope that you will always remember us. Always remember Molly and Daisy. <coughs> Molly, I thought you were dead. No, I'm not dead. You're really loud, so I can't even fall asleep. Oh, sorry. Okay, YouTube, signing off forever. And cut. That's a wrap, Molly. Ugh, finally, I can wipe off all this makeup. Are we going to move to Florida? I really want to move there. Molly, well, we are retired. We could move there if we wanted to. Perfect! I hear there's a fountain of youth there. Molly, you look pretty good for being like 80. That's right! YouTube has kept me young. <laughs> ah, finally, I'm retired from YouTube. This is the life. Molly, I thought you were retired! Um, I am, but, um, old habits die hard. Oh, brother. Whoa, 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 Molly. We're never going to get adopted if your face looks like that. What's wrong with my face? I think my face is adorable. Besides, what do you know about being cute? Molly, I wrote the book on being cute. Look at me. I have red pigtails. They're adorable. And I have green skin because I'm a zombie toddler. Yeah, and that's why no one wants to adopt us. We're zombies. Molly, maybe if you just wiped the drool from under your mouth, um, people would be more willing to adopt us. Daisy, we're zombie babies that live in a graveyard. Who's going to adopt that? Speak for yourself, Molly. I, I think I'm going to get adopted. I know it. I'm going to take a nap. I'm feeling really grumpy. Molly, no one's going to find you down inside that grave. Come up here. We need to get adopted. No, I'm grumpy and I'm staying down here. Hello? What is all that commotion going on? I came to visit my dead grandmother and everyone is being so loud. I can't get out. Ah, help, help. Oh my gosh, there's a baby stuck down in a grave. Someone call 911. It's an emergency. Ah, help, 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 Daisy. Oh, brother, you a zombie. You can't even get out of the hole of a graveyard. Seriously? I'm too short. Seriously, I'm way too short. Someone, sh sh someone throw down a ladder or a rope. I'll help you, I guess. Here you go. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're my hero. Uh, so do you want to be our mom? Molly, you can't just ask her if she wants to be our mom like that. Like, we don't even know this lady yet. Like, what's your name? My name is Karen. Duh, of course it's Karen. Look at me. Well, you do sort of look like a Karen. What's going on with your skin? Are you, like, sick or something? It's all green. Um, yeah, that's it. And why are you, like, drooling and you kind of smell like, I don't know, like, disgusting? Um, well, maybe it's because we live in a cemetery. I mean, we can't smell like roses if we live here. Actually, Molly, yes, we can because people bring roses here all the time. Uh, well, we need to get you cleaned up if I'm going to be your mom. Wait a minute. You want to be our mom? Seriously? Yeah, but you guys are, like, really, like, not acceptable this way. What are you talking about? She's, 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 she's got a fire extinguisher, Molly. Watch out. Uh, stop that. Stop swinging that at my sister! Her skin might fall off! What? You will, Molly? Well, you're a zombie. It's not like your skin is, like, brand new or something. Ah, stop it! Rude, Karen! What are you talking about, a zombie? Are you serious right now? That's so disgusting. Oh, that's ugly. Did you just call us ugly? Did you just call us ugly? Uh, yeah, because you are. I don't want kids that are zombies. Sorry. You know, Karen, your brain is starting to smell really good to me. Molly! What? I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. And Karen, your brain would be delicious. Oh! Crazy kids! Zombies! Oh! Come here, Karen! I want to eat your brain! Give me it! Starving! Molly! <laughs> <laughs> well, that took care of Karen. Say that five times fast. Who's this lady? 
Probably just another Kaelin. Oh, Mom, I'm going to miss you so much. Why'd you have to go so soon? Hey, lady, this is our cemetery. Get out of here. Oh, aren't you a sweet little girl? Sweet? I didn't think what I said sounded sweet at all. Well, I think you're adorable. Who's this, your little sister? Yeah, we're zombies. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Do you guys live here in the cemetery all by yourself? Yeah, we do. Nobody wants zombie toddlers. Well, that's not true. We have each other, Daisy. But I don't have a mom, and I just want a mom more than anything in the whole world. Oh, my gosh. Well, it just so happens that I've always wanted two girls, two kids of my own. Whoa. Well, we probably wouldn't fit that description since we're zombies. I think you girls would be perfect for me. Are you saying that you want to be a mom? No. She said, wait a minute. Yeah, I think she actually is. Come on, girls. I have a beautiful house. You don't have to live in the cemetery anymore. And I'll have the paperwork done so I can be your mom. Molly, can you believe it? We got adopted. OMG, this brain pizza is delicious. Molly, I packed a plain sandwich. Oh, ew. What is that horrible smell? I think that would be Molly's brain pizza. What? Brains? Are you serious? Um, Sarah, we're zombies. Yeah, we eat brains, but, um, we, we won't eat your brain or anything, we promise. <laughs> or any of the other students. Oh, you guys are disgusting, and you're ugly, too. What? Why would you say that? Because you're zombies, and I don't like zombies. That's so mean! Why you gotta be such a bully? <laughs> Molly? Molly? Where'd you go? Molly, are you in here? Molly? No Molly is in here. It was only a zombie that everybody hates. Molly, come out of the bathroom stall. Not everyone hates you. Just Sarah, because she's rude. Well, I don't want to be a zombie anymore. I don't want to be a zombie. OMG, today's going to be one of the best days of my life. Why is that, Sarah? Why are you even talking to me, zombie? Um, this zombie has a name, and it's Molly. She's so rude, Molly. Don't even pay attention to her. Today's going to be the best day of my life because Luke is going to come into class and he's going to ask me something. OMG! He asked me if he could have some of my bubble gum yesterday. Of course I let him. No, silly. It doesn't have anything to do with bubble gum. He's going to ask me to the prom. Wait, what? I don't think so, Sarah. Not even a chance. Everybody knows he likes somebody else. No, he doesn't. He likes me. Who else is there? I'm the cheerleading captain. Um, I don't know, Sarah, but good luck. Oh, man. Luke's gonna ask Sarah? Aww. Oh, wow. Super nervous, but here goes nothing. Hey there. Oh, Luke, I'm back here. What, can't you see? Don't you have your contacts in? Uh, no, Sarah. I'm actually talking to her. The zombie? Are you serious? Why are you talking to her? What, do you feel sorry for her or something? Oh, hey, Luke, what's up? Molly, I, 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 uh, I was just wondering if I could... Oh, yeah, I have more bubble gum. I'm not really supposed to be chewing it anyway because I have braces. No, thanks for giving me the bubble gum yesterday, but what I really want to ask you is, will you go to prom with me? I really like you. What? What? He asked a zombie to prom? Like, no, no. I mean, like, seriously? <sighs> Humans aren't supposed to like zombies, let alone take them to the prom. Back off, Sarah. He asked my sister. And yeah, she's a zombie. Get over it. Oh, my God. This is the worst day of my life. This is all your fault, zombie. All your fault. So what do you say? Do you want to go to the prom with me? Luke, I'd love to go to the prom with you. You don't mind that I'm a zombie? No, I think it's amazing that you're a zombie. Oh, God, yeah, this is YouTube gold. Daisy, stop filming my entire life. Sorry, I can't help myself. Be careful, Ava. The water's kind of deep right there. Oh, look, Mommy, you comes Daddy. Oh, look, he looks so professional. Ah, oh, I can't believe he got a job at the bank. Hey, girls, my favorite girls in the whole world. How are my zombies today? Daddy, we played all night at the park and in the pool. Oh, that's awesome, sweetie. So glad you and Mom had a great time. 
We did, Dad, but we're even happier that you're here now. How was work, honey? It was great, Molly. How was hanging out at the at the pool with, with the baby? Ah, uh, it was awesome. She got a little fussy, but she took a nap. We had a snack, all is well. Ah, <sighs> now we have to go home and go to bed. I think it's so strange that we're awake all night and sleep during the day. Well, that's just what zombies do. But Dad, you're not a zombie. Yeah, but I love you guys, so I work nights and spend time with you guys, and then I sleep during the day so we can all be together. We're a happy family, right? We totally are. Oh, Luke. It's been ten long years since you've died. And I thought that because I bit you, you would turn into a zombie eventually. But, but it, our plan didn't work. You're just still dead. Oh, ten years is such a long time to wait for you to turn into a zombie. <laughs> I, I realize I'm going to live forever. And you're just going to stay dead. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone. Molly? Mo Molly, are you at the gravesite again? Daisy, I miss Luke. I miss Luke more than anything. I'm so alone. Not true, Molly. I'm with you for eternity. Zombie sisters, forever.